This is a time like no other, a time when we are conflicted with hope and worry, where the world is on the cusp of a monumental change yet has been stuck in the cycle of a global pandemic. But this is a time of celebration and pride looking back over your accomplishments. We are in a time of celebrating you and what you will contribute to the world. Today is your day. Today is a culmination of years of hard work. Today is your graduation day. And while things are not the same as they once were and our traditions recreated anew, it is all done to celebrate you. Welcome to your 2021 Virtual Convocation Celebration. We're here to acknowledge and celebrate your hard work, your dedication, and all of your accomplishments. And we do so in the spirit of thanksgiving. Wat kunualado, Santi Smith, Dagalunyakwa, Nyungnyas, Gongwehoi, Gayangehaga, Se Watohosios, Ga Nagaliwesa, Ne Ona, Angelio Heste, Ne Ganawala Donsula. The purpose of the words of thanksgiving, the Ohandu Galiwadeguan, is to unite our mind and heart, to acknowledge, give thanks, affirm interconnections cultivate compassion and kindness, and to recognize the human responsibility for sustaining and living in balance and peace with all creation in all of our relations. Now our minds are one. It's important at this time to acknowledge people who are struggling, who are hurting. Let these words offer serenity to their mind and heart. We give thanks to all people, our ancestors, our family and friends. Now our minds are one. Daitilu wenado ne yatini stoha johunjade. Eto nayonto hoge ne nguatnigula. We give thanks to our Mother Earth, for she provides us with everything that we need to survive and thrive. Now our minds are one. Daitini wolado ne gane galunyo. Eto nayonto hoge ne nguatnigula. We give thanks to the waters, from the oceans to the streams, to the waters flowing in our body. Water is life. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne gonjung sua. Eto nayonto hage ne naguat nigula. We give greetings and thanks to the fish who help to purify the water and provide us with nourishment. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne. Yotunduni, eto nayonto hage ne nagua nigula. We give thanks to the plants, from the grasses to the sacred medicines that help to purify and strengthen our body and our mind. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne odzit no wasu'a, eto nayonto hage ne nagua nigula. We give thanks and greetings to the insects who help to pollinate the plants and teach us how to live in balance with all creation. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne jon hekwa eto nayonto hage ne naguat nigula. We give thanks to our sustenance foods, to the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne wa ya niunta Eto nayonto hoge ne naguat nigula. We give thanks to the fruit who help to nourish our body. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne gondirio. Eto nayonto hoge ne naguat nigula. We give greetings and thanks to all of the animals who sacrifice their lives to help sustain us and teach us to live in balance. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne 
dit dans un goût, hein. Et ton n'ayant ton hange, ne n'aguant ni goût, là. We give thanks to the birds whose beautiful song help to uplift our spirit and bring peace and calm to our hearts. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne galunda on goa. Eto na yonto hange ne nagua ni goa. We give thanks to the trees. We cannot live without the oxygen that they provide. Their roots and sap provide nourishment and cleansing for our body. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne zower la wunyer. Eto na yonto hange ne nagua ni goa. We give thanks and greetings to the circulating winds who travel the earth bringing new life and breath. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne ladiwerlas eto na yonto hoge ne nagua ni guna. We give our greetings to the grandfather thunderers for purifying the air and awakening the earth. Now our minds are one. Dazi dawa ni walado ne anjonge ni galakwa Eto na yonto hoge ne nagua ni guna. We give thanks to our eldest brother Sun, who appears each morning to provide sunshine, protection, and sustenance for all living things. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne asata ne kwa wa nirele. Eto na yonto hoge ne nagua ni guna. We give our greetings and thanks to Grandmother Moon for her powerful pull on our waters and connection to women and birth. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne yojisto warlunyo eto na yonto hoge ne nagua ni gula. We give thanks to the stars and the cosmos for providing us with guidance and direction. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walado ne deyunkiyarado eto na yonto hoge ne nagua ni gula. We give thanks to our protectors, our spiritual guardians who provide clarity of mind and peace in our hearts. Now our minds are one. Dazi dawanuwalado ne sungwayandiso, eto na yonto hage ne nagwat ni gula. We give thanks and greetings to creation, to the great spirit, to the great mystery, and the creative energy that lives in everywhere and in everything. Now our minds are one. Da eto. The Thanksgiving Address is a daily affirmation which places humanity in context to the immensity of the living universe and affirms the responsibility of human beings to be humble stewards of the natural world and to always demonstrate gratitude. I am thankful to be here with you today and to share these words before all else. Miawe. Thank you. As you embark on a new chapter in your life, a life as a McMaster graduate, we have been reflecting on what being a Mac grad means to us. As your provost, it means so much. To me, a Mac grad is full of innovative and life-changing ideas that will have an impact on our local communities and reach the corners of the globe. Congratulations and good luck. To me, a Mac grad is ready for anything. You're empowered with critical thinking and inquiry-based learning. You're ready for the challenges you'll face and being a Mac grad means you'll face them head on. To me, a Mac grad can see the inner workings of the world around them and how people and nature can coexist in harmony that you'll rise to the challenge to restore the damage facing our global environment. To me, a Mac grad is determined, determined to try new ways of thinking, determined to make mistakes and learn from them, and determined to inspire those at home and at work. Warm congratulations to our 2021 McMaster University graduates. You're our newest Mac grads. Now let's officially welcome you into our community of scholars.
Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the McMaster University Senate, I present to you these candidates in absentia in order that you may confer the appropriate degrees upon them and I bear witness that they are worthy and suitable. Graduands, by my authority and that of the McMaster University Senate, I have the great pleasure to admit those in absentia to their individual degrees at McMaster University with all the rights and privileges pertaining to those degrees. My sincere congratulations to you all. Yo Yanale.
Continue the celebrations with messages from your Dean, Honorary Doctorate, and Valedictorians. Congratulations to the Class of 2021. Your Dean and faculty celebrate you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Len Waverman, Dean of the Good School of Business. I'm here to congratulate you on passing out of the group into the wider world. This was not the year you or any of us wanted. 
or expect it. This is not a job market that you wanted either. But I want to tell you that we have trained you well and I want to give you a few words of advice as you go off into the brave or whatever word you want to use, new world. You know, we like acronyms, three letters in management and strategy. So I want you to remember to take a nap. You're probably a little astonished by now that I want you to take a nap, but I want you to remember those three letters. N for be nimble, A for be adventurous, and P for persevere. So nimble, nimble on your feet, nimble in your mind. If you're nimble, we don't know what the future is going to bring, but if you're nimble, you can work towards that future, whatever it is. Be adventurous. Whatever that job you're being offered, if it's something in some far off place that you've never been to, take it anyways. If they want to give you a promotion, but you're not quite sure about it, take it, be adventurous. And finally, persevere. That's what you've done all year. That's what got you through the year. Just do it, persevere and you'll be fine. Congratulations again. Honorary degrees are a long-standing tradition of recognizing the local and global impact of our great community leaders. We recognize them today and begin with a reflection between our Chancellor, Santi Smith, and President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. David Farrar. awarding an honorary degree, it's for extraordinary achievement. It could be local, it could be national, it could be international, but it is the achievement that in granting this degree will inspire our students, our graduates at this point, to go out and leave and do something equally extraordinary. I think the role of honorary degrees as well is to inspire students, but it's also to look at an individual's journey to be able to um, see some of the decisions that they made and for a lot of them they what contributions they've made to society, to their community. Many are offering their gifts of knowledge and I think that's just uh, a way of showcasing and highlighting the importance of uh, individual contributions to humanity. The impact uh, of an honorary degree to McMaster is to acknowledge achievement but also to acknowledge a journey of uh, going from academic into your life and work. So from my perspective as a Haudenosaunee person, it is our belief that everyone is, has a gift and once you find your gift, you hone it, you develop it and then you're to share it. And so I think that's really important when we look to honorary degrees, the impact that they have in sharing their gifts with others. Their gift by coming and accepting an honorary degree also brings honor and distinction to the university. They provide us with the inspiration uh, that we're looking for. They provide our students with the inspiration. Honorary degree recipients are uh, our special people, they're exceptional people. A Canadian university has recently announced that they're giving an honorary degree uh, to one of the Toronto Raptors, to Kyle Lowry. And uh, in uh, giving the degree, they're giving it for the contributions he's made to underrepresented or um, at-risk groups in Toronto and also in Philadelphia. They. Uh, are also uh, giving it to him for his contributions to Black Lives Matter and the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there was a reporter that asked Kyle, um, what kind of doctorate will you be getting? And uh, he kind of smiled and then said, I'm getting a doctor of greatness. Uh, and, and I think that that's actually what honorary degrees are about. They're celebrating somebody who's done something great and they're passing that on to our students. Yes. I think that's um, also looking forward to the list of honor honorary degrees representing the diversity of the McMaster campus in many different nations, many different disciplines, different ways of studying and uh, ways of working and developing your career. So I think it's inspirational. Absolutely is inspirational. Karen Maiman is 
one of us. She's a BCom graduate from the Degree School of Business and what she has done with her McMaster education is totally worthy of the recognition she's receiving today. Ms. Meadman is a Chartered Accountant and Fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants, who began her career with Clarkson Gordon. She later moved to Clarica Life Insurance, where as CFO, she earned national acclaim for leading Clarica's demutualization process. In 2000, she became Executive Vice President and CFO of Bank of Montreal, which made her one of the highest ranking women in Canadian banking. Her time at BMO also included serving as Chief Financial and Administrative Officer of Bank of Montreal and as Administrative Agent at BMO Capital Trusts. Her numerous board appointments reflect the respect she has earned in her industry and include directorships in cor with corporations such as Toronto Dominion Bank, Trans Ultra Corp, and the Mutual Group US. A member of the Canada's Most Powerful Women Top 100 Hall of Fame she was named the Financial Executives International Canada CFO of the Year in 2007 and inducted into the McMaster Alumni Gallery in 2002. As a volunteer, Ms. Mainman has been President of the Canadian Federation of University Women, Vice Chair of the Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation, and a member of the University of Waterloo Board of Governors. Well, we shouldn't hold that against her. It's a real privilege to recognize a MAC grad and a true leader in Canadian finance by conferring an honorary Doctor of Laws on Karen Maidment, and I invite you to read a more complete biography of Dr. Maidment on the McMaster Convocation microsite. Karen Maidment, by the authority of McMaster University Senate, I have the great pleasure to confer upon you the degree Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, in McMaster University with all the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. Thank you for this incredible honor. My education at McMaster served me well, and I know you will feel the same way. You are trailblazers. The class of 2021 has experienced more change than any other graduating class in modern history. When you started your education, the world was already experiencing rapid technological and social change. But with an outbreak, of a global pandemic, the pace has dramatically accelerated to something none of us have ever seen before. During this time, the adjustments you made to your personal and academic lives have been significant. I'm sure you worried about your family and friends' health while you were trying to focus on new ways of learning. Your professors were developing new ways of teaching. So much changed. While the pandemic has brought about hardships and tragedies, it's created many new opportunities for business. Corporations move tens of thousands of employees to a virtual environment. The adaptation of technology and new ways of working happened so quickly that plans that normally take many years were accomplished in weeks. Many businesses have exhibited innovation and creativity to adapt their business models including moving their businesses entirely online, completely changing their offerings, and rethinking how they engage with their customers. The combination of technology, innovation, and creativity have leapfrogged us into the future. At the same time, the significance of compassion and teamwork have never been more important. You are well positioned to take on these new challenges. Your formal education at McMaster, combined with your experience during the pandemic make you strong, resilient, and ready to take on the future. You truly are trailblazers. Congratulations and all the best. Next, you will enjoy the enthusiasm and energy from your own valedictorians. I congratulate them alongside the entire class of 2021. Hello everyone. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, I would like to start by thanking the executive committee for the wisdom, the vision they bring on board. Faculty members for educating us and encouraging us to achieve beyond our potential. Parents, partners, spouses, and friends to share this endeavor with us. The management team for their unending support, ensuring 
that we have all the resources in place. To all the teams who made the shift from in-person to virtual possible. I would also like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Yes, we did it. Education with purpose is more than just a tagline for us. It is a string that brings us together, people from different continents, countries, race, and ethnicity. Amidst all the hustles that we were experiencing while pursuing this degree, I started realizing again and again that the purpose of all this is beyond being educated and resourceful. It is more about giving back to the community. And now is the time when the community needs that support from its future leaders more than ever. We all know that the past year was not something that we signed up for. We all have been dealing with uncertainties. No one knows the answers to what will happen next. So does that mean we should stop believing in our true purpose? We were taught that relationships are important and that we must hold each other's hands and support. The camaraderie gained in this experience has taught us that individuals cannot achieve greatness alone, that sorrows are easier to handle when taken together and successes become greater and sweeter when shared with our families and friends. We are now moving to a new journey, not to take tests or finish assignments, but to make significant contributions to the world, which I think would not be possible if we had not experienced this education that taught us to believe in and forward with purpose. I'm not only proud, but humbled to call myself a degree graduate and to stand alongside each one of you and I'm eager to see all of us growing and achieving. Thank you. Greetings. And on behalf of the graduating class, I'd like to thank Chancellor Santi Smith, President and Vice Chancellor Dr. David Farrar, Faculty Dean Leonard Waverman, honored guests, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and family who've challenged and supported us in making it here today. To the DeGroote School of Business, Class of 2021, Congratulations on this incredible achievement. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to share three lessons that I've learned throughout my time at DeGroote and that I believe we should all take with us into the future. Those are the importance of diversity, mental health, and family. If we were gathered here in person, it is at this time that I would ask you all to take a look around the room and reflect on the incredible diversity of ethnicity, nationality, religion, sexuality, gender, upbringing, and life experience displayed here today. Nearly half of all McMaster students identify as being part of a racialized group. 40% of us are part of the first generation of our families to attend university. And within the group, nearly 30% of us are international students. Together, we've collaborated on class projects, run student clubs, organized fundraisers, and worked internships at one of the most diverse schools in the most diverse region on the planet. We should be proud to have attended a university that has taught us to value and uplift the diversity around us, while also teaching us to believe the voices demanding change and to stand up against the, against the many inequalities that continue to pervade our world. But of course, as demonstrated by the fact that I'm currently wearing shorts and my only audience today are my parents, we're not gathered in person. And we need to address an issue that we've all struggled with over the last 16 months. The events of COVID-19 have led to rising rates of depression and anxiety among students and young adults. As we move ahead with our careers, let's not forget to support the one in five who continue to struggle in the silence and stigma of mental illness. In the future, when we reflect on this period of our lives, I hope that this graduating class is bound together by the immense resiliency we've shown through these precarious times. I hope that we feel an obligation to support one another like no graduating class that has come before. I hope that we have the courage to incite conversations about mental health with our friends and family which you can do simply by asking them whether they've been feeling down or overwhelmed and reminding those closest to you that you're always there to support them. And to all of you currently struggling with your mental health, I hope you know that you're not alone and that I and many others are always here to help. Finally, family. Like many of you here today, DeGroote has provided me with the opportunity to create lifelong friends and colleagues. I don't believe that I could have met a more caring, dedicated and socially conscious group of business leaders 
anywhere else in the world. As we go on to start families, steer organizations, and incite positive change in the world around us, remember what makes us family. Remember the Commerce Oath you recited on the football stadium during Welcome Week. Remember the Saturday morning midterms you wrote during Homecoming Weekend. Remember the excitement you felt when Dr. T paired you up for your first group project in OB. Remember how Dr. Tour taught you to think about the people behind the business in 2BC3. Remember the never-ending group meetings and cases of, of Professor Malik's 3MC3. Remember that every experience of the last four or five years has shaped you into who you are today. But most importantly, remember to encourage diversity within your teams and communities, to prioritize your mental health and well-being, and to stay in touch with the people who give you strength and energy. After today, we may all be headed in different directions, but we will forever be one DeGroote family. Thank you very much, and once again, congratulations. This concludes your virtual spring 2021 convocation ceremony. Please visit registrar.mcmaster.ca forward slash convocation 2021 to continue your celebrations. From all of us, congratulations and welcome to our community of McMaster Scholars. Thank you.